Hey, Mr. Kyle, this is the Romo Diffuser by Inogear. It's 120 milliliters of the storage inside of it, and it uses the ultrasonic method to actually create the mist. And everything is right here before you. It comes with the power cable that's detachable as well through the base. So it comes right here, it's detachable, plugs in right down here. Pretty simple. Fan in the base, rubber feet. Pretty simple. This is uh, a light button on the left side, and then on the right side, you have the mist button. This controls the amount of like the control of the mist itself. So let me just do this real quick though. This here is two little dots that matches up. That's how you know it's locked. Unlock it, you just twist it and then lift it up. Sometimes you might want to twist it a little bit to unlock it. But as you can see right here, this is the lid itself. And then there's one side where all the mist comes out is on the right side. As you see right here, the little hole. But overall, not too bad. So extra mist gets caught in the top and then it just comes right back down into the base itself. As you can see, that's what the white thing is right there for in the top. So all the mist gathers up there, drips down, falls right back into this part right here, which is important. Now, most of all of this importance is this slot right here. Most of these diffusers, there's a little output in, or inlet, I mean, and you don't want to put that warm water in there at all. So that's why. On the opposite side, it says right here, drain side, and then it tells you the 120 milliliters, the measurements of each section, and of course, and inside there's the sensor itself. And you see in the base, the white thing is a sensor. It detects how much water is in there. If it's too low, it'll turn off, obviously. And of course, that's also where the ultrasonic is also occurring as well, the cost of mist. So it also comes with a little measuring unit. This is like, you know, each of them's increments of measurements on there as well. Maximum 100 milliliters, and of course, you can go beyond that, but you know, you only need that much, so you're probably run this, you know, forever. It doesn't really take much to run it anyway. So I'm going to pour this in here just like this. Very simple. And then if you want to add some essential oils, you can. Just a couple of drops is all you need, like two or three drops. And I do recommend you to use 100% essential oil, which means you want to use something that's pure, nothing that's mixed with other things and things like that. It comes with, of course, the user manual. tells you how to take care of it. And, of course, that's pretty important because certain things has to be done to this unit. And the only thing that's really important mostly is probably the slot in the bag. Make sure you don't get this wet. And obviously, you know, safety is a big concern of this thing. But most of all, not too bad. This, you know, it's all plastic, but of course, pretty sturdy as well. So let me just click this onto the right direction real quick for you. Find the dot. Most importantly, find it. Twist it. There you go. Locked and ready to go. Now, this is actually pretty cool because there's also different lights. It comes with it as well. And then let me just you know press the miss button to start off. Now this is the red light means 30 seconds on and off. It'll just alternate between that. And then you tap it again, it becomes the continuous mode. Now when you have it pressed down, you do actually hear the sound of the like um the wind the fan running. It's not too bad anyway. Let me turn off the lights real quick just for you to see the mist a little better, hopefully. Now this is the first button I just pressed, it does make it be fairly loud. And I'm not sure if you'll see it, but there's a little bit of mist coming out from it. Maybe if I angle it from the side, you'll be able to see it just a little better. You can see right here's a stream coming from there, streaming out from it. And the first mode, you see the light, it just continues on, shifting, you know, just a slow shift. You know, something that's more relaxing, of course, nothing, you know, strobing through your night. As you can see, you might be able to see a little bit of the mist. Let me see if it can be a little closer for you to see. It looks like you won't be able to see it too well still. But if you're here with me, it's just a little bit of it moving out from it but overall not too bad and then of course this light also has a couple settings for you to use as well there are multiple modes into it you tap it again and now it's stuck on one color basically tap it again now you have solid green lighter green blue lighter blue red and you can choose whatever you want I mean, if you want a color as dim then you can choose a color as dimmer Something is a little brighter and that fits the mood, then something brighter is a little better. Above all, you know, not too bad. It's not too loud. I mean, you have, it's going to be running into like a white noise in the background. So if you need white noise, you also, think about this, it's also a humidifier as well because you're releasing moisture in the air. And of course, you know, you got to control the amount of moisture in the air as well eventually. But, you know, not too bad. So as you can see, it changes colors. This is white and this is bright and it just turns off. But let's just leave it at the color shifting mode for you to see it. Overall, you know, easy to use, nothing too complicated. That's what I like about this one. There's two buttons, one button that controls the mode, the other button that controls the colors. I mean, what else can you ask for? Well, of course, you want to, you know, clean this out every so often. I mean, you're releasing moisture from it. You don't want anything 
growing inside of it and then releasing moisture. But overall, it's not too bad. It's easy to use. And once again, this is by Inogear. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a comment or a question below. If not, hey, thanks for watching.